The movie itself is actually very difficult to describe as you know as someone that's seen it before. What I can really tell you is just aliens, a lot of gay sex, and that's what it's about. The way we do it's a little different than a typical musical that you might come to see LFC perform. It's a shadow cast, meaning we have the movie playing on a screen in the background, but we have the actors doing it in front of it. Very few people, if any at all, actually look at the screen. They're more interested in seeing how the people performing are actually like mimicking exact mannerisms and stuff, which is really cool. I found Rocky when I was a freshman, I'm a junior now, and I went to an LFC meeting and the director at the time, her name was Katie, she opened up to the company that she needed an assistant director, and it was literally my first LFC meeting of all time. I was like, I guess I'll do it. Like I had a 10 year background in theater doing like behind the scenes stuff, like stage managing, stuff like that. So I introduced myself to her and I said that I'd love to do it, and she literally just turned around and she's like, yeah. This will work. She graduated and passed the role of director down to me. So last year as a sophomore was my first year directing it by myself. Directing Rocky can come with a lot of pressure, but previous directors have left their legacy behind in the form of the Rocky Bible. It is like this massive binder covered in like fake red leather and it's vaguely sticky and sort of smells like beer and it's covered in like fishnets and safety pins and it has a script in it and like old promotional flyers stuff like that and it was a lot of like how to do these things and it was nice to have that. Because LFC does a shadow cast alongside the original film, rehearsals run fairly differently from traditional theater. Rehearsals are pretty much let's see what we can get done in this time span. And it's very lax because a lot of the people in the show are like super involved with other things. So getting them all in one place at one time is really difficult. So it's a lot of actors filling in for people that aren't there or me getting up and doing it. You, you come into rehearsal, we watch the scene, not the DVD that we're gonna do, and then we perform it as many times as we have time for. As all theater lovers know, mistakes happen during performances. With Rocky Horror having to be carefully timed with the movie, it is crucial actors stay on their toes. Surprisingly, I haven't really ever noticed anybody that was like hugely off. Like there may be a word that they substituted here or there, the pause wasn't perfect, but there haven't been any huge glaring errors where I'm like cringing on the sidelines, but they do pretty well given the circumstances. The show may be based off of a movie, but the unique experience of being an audience member is what draws people year after year. Until I was assistant director, I'd never seen it live. I had no idea what to expect. There are various points, and by various I mean like a ton of points in the show where it's either something that's been said or something you're looking at on screen happening. There's just like a, a moment where you yell things that have been laid out. They're always funny, and the ones that aren't, there's some that are actually pretty anti-Semitic. We just cut them. If it's like offensive, we, no. There's a way to be funny without, you know, marginalizing a group of people. I find a lot of our callbacks are actually unique to this production because if I go elsewhere to a, like a live showing, people have no idea what I'm saying. I've never heard the stuff they're saying before, so it's really cool to get like new people in, and that's how it expands. And then we have the Virgin Sacrifices, <laughs> commonly referred to as the Reindeer Games because it's a lot less terrifying for especially the freshmen that come and see it for the first time. And basically we have like usually four or five games that we have laid out. Um, some examples, we have Drag Race, where we pair you up with someone you've never met before, usually of the opposite gender, or opposite gender presentation. And um, you get up there and you have to switch clothes completely. Not your underwear, keep your underwear on. And um, whoever like switches completely first, they win. Though these are like really fun to watch, it's actually really important to set the tone. The movie itself is very sexual in nature, so of course we have to we have to ease them in, especially if they've never seen it before. After a fire destroyed the Union Bar last November, a search began for a new venue. Location-wise, it can't be too far from campus because there's going to be drinking. We don't want people to have to drive there. It needs to be within walking distance for everybody. It needs to, you know, accommodate hopefully like an 18 and up age group. We need a certain amount of space stage-wise and audience-wise because we get 300 people a night. And so like we went through a list of potential places in Athens, all bars, and we found that Jackio's would be the most suitable for our needs while the union is down. 
they've been really helpful so far. I know they don't seem to have done anything similar to this in the past, so it's kind of like new for both of us. We're very excited that we're not homeless anymore. The culture built around Rocky can sometimes be intimidating, but LFC has taken strides to ensure that each performance is a safe space and everyone's individuality is respected. We have a no-nonsense policy as far as sexual harassment and even assault, though I haven't per personally witnessed it. I know that in situations where there is drinking and like, though your clothing is never an excuse for this to happen, people are wearing lingerie, so sometimes things uh, go wrong, but we will have people on the lookout, so be safe and let others be themselves. LFC's annual Rocky Horror Picture Show runs October 14th, 15th, and 17th at Jackio's, with virgin sacrifices beginning at 10 p.m. Doors open at 9 and tickets are $5 with an extra cover charge of $2 for those under 21. So what are you waiting for? Give yourself over to absolute pleasure and come see the Rocky Horror Picture Show.